Hello and welcome, this is LCS Recap Worlds and this is Lemon Dogs in 5 minutes. Lemon Dogs are a team hailing from all over Europe. They were previously known as Sinners Never Sleep where they stormed against all authority in the summer promotion tournament. Against all authority are probably going to have to react to here. They're going to lose this turret as they go in on towards Freddy. He gets wild growth onto him there. Zonia's in the middle of the team as well. But look at so uh, Sinners Never Sleep. They're hardly even being touched from this one. It's going to be a double kill from Caitlyn. Probably a triple by the time we're finished as Requiem comes down. No kills for Carthus and Sinners Never Sleep going to keep going. It was Freddy who actually did get one in the end there. I tell a light. This is what? going to be Sinners Never Sleep taking down against all authority and earning their place in the European LCS summer split and you can see what it means to them there. Massive celebrations coming out from Sinners Never Sleep. Lemon Dogs, a Swedish multi esports company, obtained the starting roster of Nuke Duck Mid, Tabs on AD, Dexter Jungling, Zoro Zero on top, and We Will Failer on support. But with a disappointing start to the LCS, their position looked to be in trouble. This was before the addition of Mithy in week four. When Mithy joined, it went straight to the top. I didn't expect joining this season, I expected to join next season, but I got the offer from Lemon Dogs and I just joined. I think that after the roster swap, we started realizing that we could be part of the top if we practice a lot and work hard. Mithy replaced We Will Failer on support and also became a shot caller and huge morale boost for the team. He had great success with Yamato Cannon, Maluno, Extinct and Freeze on the challenger team Heimerdinger's Colossi. In the summer season, Lemon Dogs were the first place team from week 7 onwards, around the same time that Alternate's AD carry Crayaton broke his hand. They capitalised on the former leader's weakness and rose to the top, ending the season 18 wins to 10 losses. They also have a very solid head-to-head -head record, going either 3-1 to one or 2-2 two for two with every other team. We don't really have a playstyle, we just don't go AFK in mid for like 10 minutes and just farm. We actually like do something. And that is going to be the Lemon Dogs absolutely hammering Gambit here in 22 minutes and 40 seconds. Look at the fish. Fuck no, man. Nope, nope, nope. It's all about running now. We did. What the fuck? He moved in Sanjas. He moved in Sanjas. Tabs' fizz is also something that gained recognition in solo queue, and he uses his lane knowledge with Lemon Dogs to fill the AD carry role. Kill of the game. Now the death sentence catches onto Tabs. There goes the strangle bonds. Voidal is the target. Death mark has not been used as the attack. Shockwave was used on Tabs. Barry is keeping him alive. Come on, attack in the distance. Is it available? Oh! The ball doesn't reach. Tabs! 1v1's Alex! And a cat game surprise not gonna be enough as Nuflak secures two quick replies. Something that should be noted is Lemon Dog's surprisingly low following. I know Facebook is not the be all and end all, a bastion of truth and accuracy, and some of these pages even cover other games like StarCraft and Dota, but it gives a rough idea as to how popular Lemon Dogs are compared to other teams. Uh, yeah, of course. Like, for example, we've been like on Super Week and stuff, we played like t Sona Twitch, you know? And uh, we, we, we as, as I said before, we expected Gambit to qualify, and Gambit had been playing Sona MF, Thresh MF, Thresh Varus, Sona Varus. Those champions are like really really hard to deal with if you're playing twitch on sona you know and then we also notice that whenever they pick thresh and, sh and stuff then they, they they really like like to come bot lane so if you pick sona against that you're, you're gonna have troubles you know you have to play really safe so we completely adopted our picks and went back to like the old school like caitlin and you know like champions that are safe and then this last game they picked the hyper carry so it like it went it didn't go like we planned it to go but we were ready for every, anything yeah Mithy's knowledge of the game is only one of the reasons for their success. Uncommon picks like Talon on Nuke Duck in the mid lane, N-Rated joining the team as an analyst, and many fans converting their hopes from one of the less successful teams all contributing to their victories, Lemon Dogs are looking to make Europe proud in Los Angeles. Nuke Duck diving in on top of them, push you, going low, they'll actually die off in the end, and Peke finds himself as the last man left alive, only one man down here for the Lemon Dogs, ace in the hole. Ah, Zonya's sneaky, sneaky. Oh, he's got away from it. Rift walked there straight after, and in the end, Lemon Dog saying, you know what, you go back, Peke. We've had enough of chasing after you. We're going to push this advantage. Thank you very much for watching LCS Recap Worlds. My name is Ben Forbes. You'll find the rest of the In 5 Minutes videos in the bottom left, or subscribe in the bottom right. Check us out on Facebook and Twitter as well. And in the comments, let me know who on Lemon Dogs has impressed you the most this season.